Hey guys, welcome to KB Tutorials. So in this tutorial, we are going to see how we can perform the login operation and how we can verify it the login is successful or not using Selenium WebDriver Python. So I am using this site flipcard.com. So here I have taken one uh, file, the Python script here, where I have already imported my Selenium and I have taken my Chrome driver and the path of the Chrome where it got installed and I am navigating to this application called Flipkart. So to perform this login operation what we need to do we need to have user ID and password and we need to know the login okay we need to click on the login. So in order to do this we need to identify this user ID password and login buttons are the input fields. So for that I am using this inspect element and go here. So this is an input field having this is a class right. So let me try my export something like this. I am using the class attribute for the input and I could able to identify one element on the screen. So I can use this directly. So here driver dot find element you have by id by class link text partial link text and all since we are using the xpath i am using by xpath and i am giving the xpath value here then we need to pass the uh, we need to pass the value right so for that i am using send keys and i am passing my user id let me copy this user id Then I need to send this password field as well. So let me identify this password. So this is a password of class this one. So let me write my customized xpath here using the class value. So I could able to find one unique element. Let me use that. Find element by xpath, then pass that value and pass the uh, password. So I am using send keys to send the data into the input field. So my password is something like this. Then we need to click on this login button, right? This is my login button. I have this class field. So, button at the right class is correctly coming. So, driver dot find element by expand. It is click operation so I am doing this now let me try to run this and see the values are being entered comingly or not so I have started executing this now you could see the application is getting loaded and it is enter the value properly then I could see this is my home page then how will I know that my application has logged in successfully or not so if you observe once i logged in successfully i am getting this particular web element okay so if i go to the actual flipkart site this is how it looks like right when before logging in right so once i log in this login button is being replaced by one element called my account so if what i can say from this is like if my account is displayed on the screen, that means my login has successfully happened. Based on this point, I'm going to write one scenario. So this is a DIY and having the value this one. So div div element having text is equal to this.
so here driver dot find element by x path having the value this much if it is displayed on the screen that means is displayed okay so for this what i do is if and else i'll do if is displayed if is displayed right that means i can say login successfully completed success else there is some issue that is means login failed let me try to run this before that let me close this instance now when i started executing enter user id password i got this into the field but as you can see no such element unable to locate the element but with this field if i put inspect i could able to see the web element right that means what is happening here is once it click it immediately checking the x path for this element so here what we can do we can simply wait for some time using sleep let me give something like 2 seconds of time okay and after that it will check for this element on the home screen with the help of is displayed it will return true when the element is displayed on the screen right so i am waiting for 2 seconds of time then i am checking this element is displayed or not it should work now and now if you see logging successful right that is good but my only concern is do i need to use this print statements do i need to use this if and else in order to check the success or failure my answer is there is more efficient way than this using assert we can perform a similar kind of operation okay so assert something like if it is displayed that means this element assert is equal to true if it is true that means logging successfully happened you don't need to verify all these things if it assert fails means logging is failed what is does is it is displayed that means this my account is displayed which is going to return me true and it is going to validate against the true value so assert will be true that means my successfully logged in happened okay let me run this then i'll try to make it false then we'll see what is going to happen okay so as you can see it started executing enter user id password and closed it now you could see successfully executed let me keep it as false that means this element is not displayed that is the something i am going to tell by this line but is actually displayed on the screen so assert going to fail that means the my script is going to fail because of this scenario now you could see assert error i am getting because it is coming as displayed but my expectation is true but i have given it as false so this is how we can perform the uh, logging operation i hope it i have explained very clearly to you guys if you have any doubt do let me know in a comment section so that i can explain much better and don't forget to subscribe to my channel and please do watch all the videos on this playlist and do subscribe to my channel thank you so much for watching thank you.